topic we need to look at is called terminal voltage. Uh, here's a little battery. And it's very interesting. This battery, it says, is rated at 9 volts. And so when the charge moves around a circuit, it goes around, it comes back to the other terminal. And now, before it's taken to this terminal to return to that terminal, it passes through the battery. And there's a resistance inside the battery itself called the internal resistance. So in other words, the charge is taken to the other side, but then it has to be taken through the battery back to the terminal, and it encounters resistance. And we call that an internal resistance and give it a symbol, little r. But then what also happens, this battery is rated at 9 volts. And when I actually put it into a circuit and it starts to run, what may happen is, oh, it drops a little bit because there's a voltage drop as that charge moves across that battery to the other terminal. And so that's called the terminal voltage. And it's actually equal to the EMF of the battery minus the voltage drop. It looks like this. Here's how we solve problems using the terminal voltage. Now the potential difference between the terminals of a battery when no current flows is called the EMF. And we need to remember that that EMF is because there's chemical reactions in the battery causing a separation of charge. And when you have a separation of charge, you have a potential difference here called the EMF. But when current flows, there's a dip in that EMF. And the question is, why? And the answer is, when the current flows, the chemical reactions in the battery cannot supply charge fast enough to the other terminal to maintain the full EMF. Well, you ask why? And it's because the battery itself has an internal resistance. There's resistance within the battery. Now, that's uh, the terminals A and B. We now have this internal resistance, and we draw it in series with the rest of the circuit. We just put another little resistor, R. Now, there is V, A, B, the terminal voltage, and it equals E, the EMF, minus I times R, which is the voltage drop across the internal resistor. You need to know that diagram and this formula here.